The time is here. It's your senior year. Coach Walker is going to give you your senior year proactive recruiting information. Guys, all we're doing right now is just checking off all of the boxes that we've gone through from the freshman year all the way all the way to now, making sure that we got everything done. This is just cleaning house to make sure that we're on the right path to fulfill our dreams of being recruited by that college or university that we want to take our talents to continue our collegiate sports career. Welcome back to Tomorrow Leader Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below. By now, you should already know what your core GPA is, guys. Speak with your counselor. Sir, ma'am, may I have a copy of my transcripts? Also, could you possibly tell me what my core GPA is so that you can continue to keep giving that information to the coaches? The coaches are going to want to know what your core GPA is before they put that offer on the table. Because if you don't meet all the intangibles that they require, guess what? They're not going to offer you anything. You're going to be sitting there upset come signing day. There shouldn't be any classes that you need to help bolster your GPA unless you've just completely fell behind throughout your whole high school career and didn't do the things that was necessary for you to have the necessary GPA in place for you to be considered a candidate for one of these coaches to want to bring into their collegiate program. Confirm, if you have not done so by now, you want to make sure that you've passed the ACT, ACT, SAT exam. You want to make sure that score that you obtain matches the requirements that that college or university that you're looking to attend, they will accept that. If not, you may need to retake that exam. Get yourself signed up for the next, the next offering of the ACT, SAT exam immediately. One thing you're going to understand in business, it's called ABC, always be closing. If you're not closing the deal, you're in business. You are the brand. You need to close the deal. Closing the deal is doing all of the things that we've asked you to do in the previous proactive recruiting videos. You need to make sure you have that stuff done. If not, guess what, guys? You can't blame the coach. You can't blame, you can't blame the school. You can't blame mom. You can't blame dad. You got to look in the mirror and blame yourself. You have to take the initiative and do the things that's required of you to get to where you're trying to go. Get with your high school advisor to make sure you have your FAFSA information to take care of. Not forget to continue to apply for scholarships and grants so you can get that free money, guys. Again, you do not know what these coaches are going to offer you. They may offer you a partial. They may offer you a half. They may offer you a full scholarship, but you want to make sure you have free money that's going to cover all of the expenses that you're going to have. Don't forget, guys, you still got to buy books. You got to buy books. Like I said, a lot of these, a lot of these offers are tuition based offers. So that means you're still going to have to pay for room and board. And if you have to pay for room and board, you're going to need to get loans if you don't have the money in place. So please submit the efforts. Please apply for these scholarships and grants. Get that free money. It's too much free money out there for you not to take advantage of that type of opportunity. And God, last thing, guys. Hey, you know, uh, when you sit down with the coaches, Make sure you have your questions in order. I, I did a video on that also, guys. I let you know questions that you want to ask and questions that you don't want to ask. If you have additional questions that you may want to ask outside of the ones that are presented to you, then ask those questions, guys. There's nothing wrong with that. But I gave you some, I gave you some questions that you really want to stay away from. I'm giving you the information to put your best foot forward so that you can obtain and reach the goals that you've set for yourself. Now's the time for you to sit down and make the decision once you've had all of the conversations that you need to have with all of the different coaches and recruiters that you've spoken to throughout your recruiting process. When you make the decision on where you're looking to attend college and continue your uh, sports career on a, on a collegiate level, make sure you make a decision that's best for you. Best for you. It, it doesn't have anything to do with mom and dad. It doesn't have anything to do with your buddies, your sister, your aunt, your girlfriend, none of that. Make sure you're making the decision that's best for you. All right? You don't want to got to go to class. You got to go to the meetings. You got to do all of the things that's going to be required of you by your, by your coaches at that college or university. And again, you got to make sure that the atmosphere fits you. So there's a lot of things, there's a lot of things there that you have to unpack while making that decision. But make sure you're taking good notes while going through the process so that you can look back over everything and get a, a true understanding of what best fits you. But hey, coach is gonna say, Congratulations, you did it. Congrats, congratulations, you did it. I'm proud of you. Guys, that's all I have for you right now. But if you like the content, please like, share, subscribe. 
Also, you can follow us on social media. The links are listed down below in the description. And remember, guys, be that one and lead.